According to data from Beer Board, which monitors bar statistics around the country, pours of Bud Light have declined 6% during the first half of April. Since the controversy began about a month ago, shares of Bud's arch rival Molson Coors have notably outperformed AB InBev. Americas, uh, thanks for coming on. I don't want to dig in, dive into all the social and cultural stuff because that's what's going to get picked up by everybody else. What If you're teaching a class on this at Wharton, What's the fir- what's the syllabus? What's the first lesson plan? Well, thanks a lot for the opportunity. Great to see you, Brian. I think the lesson plan and the syllabus says if you're going to attempt to go into purpose driven marketing and align your brand with an ideological viewpoint or a political issue, there's really two rules. You either have to do all or none. So it's not a good idea to sort of thread a needle. You either have to commit and make that explicit commitment and then you're all in no matter what, live or die by those core values you'd like to profess. And so here, I think the challenge was once the toothpaste was out of the tube, you can't really put it back. So now you have the issue of how do I make everybody happy? And that's challenging now because without taking a side, everyone's gonna be kind of continued upset. Stay on top of the latest in identity, marketing, branding, and pop culture by following America's Read on social media or learn more at americasread.com.